Hi there, I'm James Farnan and welcome to Happy Hour, a show featuring content created by you, our viewers. Whether it's cute, creative, funny or uplifting, we've got you covered and we're kicking things off in Prince George with some good news from one of our junior contributors. Hi, I'm Olivia with some good news. Today there's been a new trendy happening of putting hearts in your windows. People all over the world have been putting hearts in their windows to show hope and fix. These are some of my hearts in my window. Do you have any in your town? We put hearts in our window for our health care workers, our friend care workers, our hospitals, nurses, our garbage people, our mailmans, um, everyone who wants to keep us safe. I reached out to my mom, coming to you live from the kitchen. Hi mom, what does a heart in the window mean to you? Oh, hi Olivia, this is live. Um, hearts to me just means at a time when we are isolating and not really being able to connect with people, we can still put hearts in our window and we can connect with our neighbors, our community, our country, and now the world. What a great opportunity to let our frontline and healthcare workers know that we care and we support them and we also support each other. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to put a heart in your window. For some good news, I'm Olivia. Unfortunately, the COVID-19 pandemic has meant that many of us have either had to postpone or cancel vacation plans. But one man in Nanaimo has come up with a creative solution.
time once again to send it over to Cape Town, South Africa for another installment of Reese's Diary of an Isolated Kid. Today's topic will be healthy mind, healthy body. Let's get fit, people. It's not easy to get muscles like these. Our fitness minute starts now. I spend hours a day staying in my peak physical condition. Get all your other family members to join in. Put your favorite running shoes on. Tick, ha, get it. Your sweatband and your awesome Minecraft glasses. This is me on my very, very isolated jog. The wind in my hair and the boiling hot sun on my face. And 400 meters, turn right. 300 meters, turn left. 50 meters, you have reached your destination on the right. Stay fit, people. Stick around, there's more happy hour coming up after the break. Squirrels before girls. Watch out, nuts. Ooh, soapy water. These are the things, the things we know, we know. This virus came from bats. Don't blame the rodents. These are the things. From a crow, and please stop squeaking noisily. Squeaking noisily. Keep two branches apart. Stop squeaking noisily. Squeaking noisily. Keep two branches apart. Stop squeaking noisily. I'm not a nut. Like conspiracy theorists, these are the things, the things we know. Keep two branches apart, please don't hoard food. Well, no more than normal, these are the things I heard from a crow. And please stop squeaking moistly, squeaking moistly. Keep two branches apart, stop squeaking moistly. Squeaking noisily, keep two branches apart. Squeaking noisily, squeaking noisily, keep two branches apart. Squeaking noisily. Oh, what a terrible image! For some, doing your part through isolation and physical distancing can be a bit of a mental drain. That's the case for Sean in Cranbrook, BC, and now his landlord has thrown another curveball at him, which seems to be making the situation even worse. This whole COVID-19 pandemic has really got me down. I don't feel like myself at all. I've used more hand sanitizer in the last two or three weeks than I ever have in my whole life. I'm spending more time inside than I ever have. I gotta be outside, it's what I love to do. Staying six feet apart from everyone else. So I mean, it's really got me feeling blue. And now, my landlord, he's decided to bring in a new roommate. I mean, like, at a time like this, we don't even know where, where he's been or where he lived before. I mean, he could, he could have COVID-19 for all we know. And with me having to spend all of my time inside, isolated from everyone else, he's really starting to get on my nerves. He leaves all of his stuff all over the stairs, constantly. Carrots and hummus, carrots and hummus. 
He keeps taking my stuff out of the fridge. And to be completely honest with you, he's really starting to mess with my zen. I keep telling my landlord about all of these issues. He just doesn't seem to care. If this keeps going on and I have to keep putting up with this, I might have to take matters into my own hands. With schools closed indefinitely, parents are having to find different ways to keep their kids occupied at home. In Kelowna, BC, Peter and Shelley have decided to let them loose in the kitchen. But is that a good idea? Well, let's find out. Today we're making tacos. I'm gonna start with cooking the meat. I'm gonna start grating the cheese. Daddy, what will I do? I'm going to stop cutting the cucumbers. I'm gonna start chopping the vegetables. I'm gonna cut up the cilantro. Cilantro? I'm gonna cut up the cilantro. 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 I'm going to cut up the cilantro nice and fine. <laughs> I'm going to be cutting up the cilantro. Cilantro. Nope. Um. Okay. I'm going to be cutting up this green stuff. <laughs> What's this? It's a taco. Oh my gosh. This looks amazing. Is this everything in it? Okay, give it a go. <laughs> That's the best taco I've ever had. Thank you. Welcome to Interviews in Quarantine, the show where I talk to myself. Now, my very first ever guest is Anxiety. Anxiety, I think we're all pretty curious to see how you've been dealing with all this. Actually, I'm doing fine. Really? No! What are you doing? Just having a nice, healthy snack. <laughs> Oh, 
Welcome to Interviews in Quarantine, the show where I talk to myself. I'm very excited. Today, my special guest is Ambition. Ambition, how are things going over there? Oh, yeah, she's flattened right out like a pancake. Like a pancake. That's all for you, bud. The ambulance is everything. <laughs> Welcome to Interviews in Quarantine, the show where I talk to myself. Today I'm very excited because I have not one, not two, but three special guests. Everybody say hello to personal hygiene, dignity, and inner peace. They've completely left, haven't they? Yeah, they're gone. Oh, there is nobody there. No, there is absolutely nobody there. Yeah, they've completely left the building. So if someone wanna track them down or something, God, at least, at least put on the order. Due to the pandemic, film crews everywhere are currently unable to work. And as you can see in this next video, some crew members are having a hard time adjusting. Okay, this is room tone of um, bedroom. All right. Hey guys, how's it going out there? I know times are tough and keeping yourselves entertained during quarantine, but there's lots of activities you can do. Personally, I look no further than the advice of my own government. They recommend that people get creative by drawing chalk art or running backyard obstacle courses. So today, we've decided we're going to run our very own backyard obstacle course. Come on down to the Backyard Obstacle Course and line up. We've got the best obstacles. We've got great prizes for you and a cheap entry fee. So come on down and see if you can beat the backyard. And before you even get into the Backyard Obstacle Course, you got to avoid my father trying to shake your hand to talk about gas prices. Hey, nice to meet you. How about them gas prices? And once you get past my father, then you have to avoid my mother trying to feed you shepherd's pie all the way through the kitchen. Come on, you have to try my shepherd's pie. Come on, come on, come on, oh, come on, come on. Come on, have a little bit, please. Just try some, just a wee bit. Once you've avoided my mother shepherd's pie, you're the backyard. The first station you get to will be the Trudeau Speak Moistly Station. The Super Slipper Snake slid down the secret staircase to Sarah's sister's sermon. The Super Slipper Snake slid down the secret staircase to Sarah's sister's sermon. The Super Slipper Snake slid down the secret staircase to Sarah's sister's sermon. I spoke pretty moistly. The proof is on the paper. And then once you get past that and you're done speaking moistly, you're now in the backyard where we have all kinds of obstacles for you. There are three dogs living in that house. Three dogs, plenty of things for you to avoid back there. You can come on down and you beat the backyard. You win yourself. My novice tier two, most improved player award. Why did they think this was a good idea? Yeah, I heard even the regular obstacle courses are having a struggle right now. This is so boring. Is anyone even going to show up? Like, how many backyard obstacle courses could there be around here? Oh no, he's stuck! I got you! Cool. Mom, can we go for lunch yet? I'm kind of bored. 
Okay guys, that, that, that's a wrap here. All done the, the backyard obstacle course. Uh, Mom's had lunch is ready, so gotta, gotta head in there now and go get some lunch. And t tune in next week, we'll do a live chalk art exhibit. See you later. That's all for now. Thanks for joining us and a big thanks to all our contributors. How have you been spending your time in isolation? We want to know. Send an email with all the details to happyhour at sjrb.ca and get those cameras ready to roll. While you're out, don't forget to check out all our other great content at shawspotlight.ca. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Shaw Spotlight. I'm James Farnan, and we'll see you next time on Happy Hour.